So a loss of four. And he right now going nowhere. Maurice Hurst. There's a comeback screen with Massey, and that was well played by Maurice Hurst. Well, if Maurice Hurst doesn't make this play, Massey has room to run in the secondary. This is outstanding by Hurst. Here he is. He's going to read screen and get out and make a tackle, and you'll see. If he doesn't make this play, Massey cuts through the crease, and he's all the way to the safety for a big play. Thompson wrapped up just beyond the 10 yard line. Every yard has been hard earned through the first half. Michigan shows blitz. And running right into the teeth of that defense with nowhere to go is Mike Boone. Mike Boone sets up a big third down. Jared Dokes stuffed at the line. Right into the strength of that Michigan defense. He went nowhere. It'll be fourth down. Four-man rush. Long throw down the sideline through the hands of Khalil Lewis. And incomplete. And what guts does Hayden Moore show right here? He gets smashed the previous play. It's bearing down on him once again this time. From the 21, here comes Langford Johnson. They've not really had much of a run game outside of a few scrambles. Stop from Mohurst. Yeah, you feel like in Pizza's ability to make a play. Worship straight ahead. Motion him through the formation. Looking for their first third down conversion of the day. Sindelar put it on the deck and got it back. Mohurst making an impact on this drive. The guys are chasing me. He says, I'm football fast. Showed it there. Hit in the backfield as Mo Hurst just blew up the play against Holmes. He's got a nasty streak as well. Holmes fake it to him, and it's a shovel pass to Matt Sokol, the tight end. Hit very hard. His helmet gets knocked off on top of it. Yeah, that denied Michigan a chance at a likely three points before the break. So backed up at the seven after the penalty. London gets nothing on first down. London from the eye. Nothing. Battles just to avoid a safety. Michigan defenders pleading for a safety. Don't get the call. Yeah, this is a, again, they're shooting caps. Hurst is just already in the backfield because of how quickly he got off the football. Yeah, look at the progressive pylon cam right here. Look at that Michigan defense pushing them back. London on second and 11 again stop from no gain Option look the working hit hard does not get the yardage watch him He shoots right into the middle and now you get McCray coming over mm. to be able to make that play the young freshman Kevin Jarvis trying to get up there Fumble snap doesn't matter who's got the football. The fourth down play fails. The work he ever had his hand yet. Ball just slipped right through. And there's Hurst coming in to finish the deal. Dangerous out there. London. That's a big thing for Michigan State here late in the game. They don't have a turnover tonight. Holmes. Not much. So after a nice first down gain, Hurst got in there oh, yeah. after this first down play. They get the stop on the run. And it is home slam down for a two yard loss. Against this type of an offense, especially an offense with pace. And we see it here on the handoff to Majek. Button pregame said, glad I'm in the booth, man. No thanks. Majek 
He ends up underneath Maurice Hurst for a loss of a yard. Gary gets the pub, and he should. He's going to be a top five pick after next season, but Maurice Hurst does the dirty work. And he is having a phenomenal senior year. He's playing himself into the NFL. For nine, one for one this year. This from 51 yards out. And it's blocked. Maurice Hurst got the block. Running with the football is Lavert Hill. And Michigan's got it on the block field goal return all the way down inside the Indiana 25-yard line. Check that, marked out at the 27. His dad was a defensive back way back for the New England Patriots. That's where he gets some of that burst and quickness. He's also got the size and power. That's why he has been such a difference maker this year. Five and a half tackles for loss. He was in the rotation a season ago, but he looks trimmer. He's playing with explosion. He's getting into the backfield, and that's an enormous block there for Michigan. Very conservative calls on the early downs, back-to-back -back drives. Under pressure with the blitz coming, and nowhere to go for Peyton Ramsey. That's part of the reason you're also conservative, because these two monsters right in the middle, you just can't block them one-on-one. -on -one. We've seen Hurst a bunch of times with his penetration. He's right in the middle, just cleanly beating the center there. And Rashawn Gary, good for him. And he has played so hard this season. Clock at two. And they get the snap off. And there's a screen back to the near side. This time getting loose is Mike Majette. Close to a first down, about a yard short. And to the Wolverines, third down and one. Straight ahead run. Did the freshman get there? Morgan Ellison, about a half yard shot. Maurice Hurst, Devin Bush combine on the tackle. Hurst has made himself some money today. This is about the fifth occasion here when you are a big man and you can get in the backfield, tackle for loss again and again and again. It's been different moves, right? It's been the power move. It has been that move, the swim move right there. Difference maker. Dominant on third and one. They elite defense. You're going to have to beat them in the late rounds. And no one yet really in that fourth quarter that Michigan State has. Morgan Ellison for four yards on first down. But Moorhead went to work with him after that pick. Sorely swarmed and sacked back at the 10 by Maurice Hurst Jr. With multiple starts to be unbeaten and have not thrown an interception. Rashidio in trouble and he's brought down by Maurice Hurst. Immediately, Hurst makes his presence felt. Uh, did, I, did I mention to you Maurice Hurst and how good of a player he is? You love Maurice Hurst. Oh, he's easy to like. And last week against Penn State, they just got rid of the ball literally in two steps. This was three steps, and Maurice Hurst got hit. He gets off the ball exceptionally well, redirects exceptionally well. That's a good player. Back in to take the snap. Locked up man. Grant will keep it again. And Janarian Grant to the 48-yard line. Mo Hurst on the stop to the top of your screen. Second down and 10. Grant on the key. Grant going nowhere this time. You adjust, and that's the difference in the play. Here's Martin on first down, nowhere to go this time. Maurice Hurst, the reason why, a loss of one. Ball to start the second half. As we wind down this first half, second and 20. Edwards with the carry again. And Mo Hurst with the tackle at the 24-yard line and a timeout used by Michigan. Here's Edwards with the carry again, and Edwards stopped inside the two. He'll tap that. See, that's the <laughs> slowest way I ever saw. Second down and eight as Edwards gets the carry again down to the 39-yard line. Biak is the tight end split to the left. And he looked for him. The ball is tipped into the air by Maurice Hurst, Jr. Mo is a load. This young man is second in tackles for losses, and his big mitts got up there that time. He's only 6'2", but he's about 208 pounds, and he's got a long wing span. You can watch him number 73 right here. Watch him get that hand up. You talk about affecting the quarterback. If you can't get a big enough push, you can always get that mid up in the air and cause some damage and deflect that pass. Generation of football, Michigan historically has played such a strong role in this great game. Croft in trouble and down. Inside the 10, and it's Big Mo, who plays with Mo. Hurst, <laughs> number 73. Boy, that's a thankless position, that nose tackle, because you're responsible more oftentimes for two gaps, but you can see number 73. He can work this way or this way. He decides to do the arm up and just a straight power move and playing in your backfield and in your lap. Boy, this guy's a playmaker. Feed me, baby. Feed me. Showed you that Michigan just 33% on third downs. Maryland just 32%, second to last in the league above Purdue. 
you can't miss an opportunity like the throw back to the quarterback. That would have gone a long way. Yeah, that was the Ty Johnson trying to throw it back to Ryan Brand early. Especially when you take into account they only have one returning starter in this defense, Mike McCray back from last year. Stacked on the left side of the line. As Brand faked the give and then going down, Mo Hurst got in the backfield in a hurry. Yeah, you mentioned about Maurice Hurst, number 73. I watched him on film. Man, he gets off fast as quick as anybody. And the other thing he does, which is really commendable, is low man wins. His pads are always lower than the offensive guy trying to block him. Bunk is jack of all trades back, standing to the right of Ryan Brand. And he will use Jake Funk, but Funk is going to be short. Let's see if they do just that. No, he hands it off to Jake Funk. And I'll tell you, going in between the tackles against Michigan has not worked well. And Jacobs has picked up the slack. That time a keeper for Brand. Brand carries nothing there. Slate that you really don't have any control over. Second down and seven. And here's Hornibrook. He had a receiver that broke open deep, didn't see him. It's down at the 47. They pitch it to Taylor this time, and he's bottled up and driven down hard. I mean, check out Sullivan. He's right here. He's just going to throw his man down, and he's going to get into the backfield. You talk about another great true freshman, Aubrey Solomon from Leesburg, Georgia. He has been tremendous this year. He gets back there and gets it done. Gain on the last play. Taylor looking for the first down on third and six, and he won't get it. Conservative play call. We'll get into that championship game, so all sorts of scenarios still in the East. So on first down, Hardy Brooks sacked at the five. Second sack of the day for the Wolverines. Hurst Gary crashing the party. Minutes and 42 seconds remaining on the clock. First down, Rocha. And he'll be tackled behind the line of scrimmage this time. Easy third down opportunities. They're behind the chains early. A loss of two on second down. This time they'll run it straight ahead with J.K. Dobbins. Hard to stop from a defense. Second down and six after the four-yard gain. Dobbins again. This time will pick up a yard. One yard. He's carried it twice for 24 yards. On first down. You want to watch today. Down at the line of scrimmage, third down and four. Big Mo Hurst getting the hands up. It slowed down in the pass rush. He reads Jake Bentley's eyes, hands in the throwing lane, and nice play by the All-American defensive tackle. How about this tempo, Adam? This is something Will Muschamp told us he wanted to see here today. Hurst getting after Bentley. You got tempo, I got the rush. Bull, Hurst, bring it heat. First of all, I just love the fact that the senior is playing here today. He's going to be a first-round pick in the NFL, and he's going to just flat out get after it up the field. A great penetration and pressure on the quarterback, Jake Bentley. It's a screen, but nobody gets a hand on Mo Hurst. Outstanding first step, and man, is he happy to be here in Tampa playing his last game for the Wolverines. Consensus All-American. Trying to get the push. Dowdle is short. And then a push after the play. Mo Hurst. Excellent penetration. Big Mo Hurst. And he's been doing it all season for this Wolverine defense. Such a stout at the line of such a stout presence at the line of scrimmage. You see him working, getting low. That first initial step. Gets penetration, knocks the offensive lineman back in the backfield. Is also Rashad Gary getting penetration.